Yes, yes. Uh, take a seat, please. Hmm. Uh, I'll be your doctor for today. Hmm. Although you do look quite familiar. Uh, did you go to high school, perhaps? Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> uh, well, it's wonderful to meet you again. Uh, do not worry. I will definitely be a professional. Although it is nice to see you again, friend. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, do you have any qualms about your doctor being a vampire? Just, just important information to know. If you don't want me as your doctor, I can always get a more a human doctor. If you don't mind my presence, then I will continue with the evaluation. Uh, okay. In that case, let us begin. Would you please uh, remove your shirt? Thank you. All right, let me get my stair silk so out. All right, I'm gonna push this up against your back and I want you to take some deep breaths, okay? Great, now, take a deep breath. One, two, one, two. Good job, now we're gonna hold them, okay? All right, one, Good job. Now again. One. Two. Very good. <laughs> All right. What's next? Ah, I need to check your ears. Let me just get a little closer. Ah. <laughs> no need to blush. I am being professional after all. Now, let me just look inside your ears. Hmm. This one seems good. A little earwax building up, but nothing too bad. All right. Let me check the other ear. Hmm. Also not too bad. Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> it's nothing to be ashamed about. Everyone has earwax. <laughs> uh, you can schedule an appointment to have that removed if you wish. <laughs> now, let us check your orals. Uh, would you please open your mouth? Thank you. Let me look at your teeth. Nothing looks bad. Although you probably want to schedule an appointment with the dentist just in case. Hmm. Tongue looks healthy. Nothing bad I can see with your tonsils. Hmm. Uvula looks good. All right, you can close that. Now I'm going to check your heart. I'm going to put this on your chest, okay? It'll be a little cold, but I promise you. I'll be over before you know it. <laughs> Can you hold your breath, please? That's right. Like that. All right. Let it go. All right. I'm moving my thing over here. Take a deep breath. Okay. Breathe out. And I'm going to breathe it right here. Okay. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. <laughs> Very good. Now, let us check your blood pressure. Please give me your arm. All right, wrap this around it. Also, I could use some of my vampiric ability if you really wanted me to. It's an interesting experience, I've been told. And approved by the medical field for checking. Hmm? What is it? I would just drain uh, small droplets of your blood, and simply by ingesting them in my body, I would know if you have any type of diseases or any types of malnutrition or something you need to add to your diet. <laughs> grand, grand. All right, if you're really up for it, I will continue. I just want to make sure I have your full consent. Great. In that case, 
Let us continue with the evaluation. Nothing alarming, as far as I can tell. Although, you could do with some more water in your diet. Well, it seems your blood is getting rather antsy for some water, so just add that in and you should be fine. Hmm. Alright. Uh, next important question. And you don't have to answer all these. They... They're just a matter of finding out if we need to do any treatments besides the basics. Have you exchanged any saliva with the Lamia or Naga? No? Okay. Are you in a relationship with a creature of five or more legs? All right. Um, are you sexually active? I can understand your shyness in answering that question. <laughs> are you a night owl or an early worm? <laughs> a bit of a night owl myself, but uh, I think that's pretty obvious. And I guess final question on the uh, list here. And... Feel free if you don't want to answer this, but are you or are you not interested in inter-monster relations? Well, all that means is are you interested in being with a monster long term? If so, you would need to change primary care doctors to a monster physician. The reason being, humans are ill-equipped to handle the type of diseases that come with monsters. Not saying monsters innately come with diseases, but monsters have their own illnesses that could, in theory, hop onto humans. It would be very important to have someone who's an expert in the field. Well, I'm not an expert, but I know one or thing or two. <laughs> I see, I see. I'll mark that down. Hmm... I suppose there's just two more things left to do, really. Sign your release form and, well, make sure someone's here to pick you up. Well, you read the forms, didn't you? Because I drained some of your blood, you may get a little wobbly, or you may even have some prob problems balancing yourself. It'd be very important if someone was here to pick you up. Ah, no one's going to be. I see. Uh, hopefully you forgive my boldness, but would you allow me to drive you home? It'd be the something I could do for you. As your physician and as your doctor, I would be honored to take you home. Great, great. Now let's go sign those release forms so you can be taken home. Also, I'll need to check in with the lead doctor and let them know what I'm doing so they can cover my shift. All right. Hmm. Ah, yes. I am... Uh, oh, y you already know. Well, that makes things simpler. In that case, I'll see you all tomorrow. And as for you, let us get going. Yes, you need to stay in the wheelchair. Do not worry, I will help you in the car. Hmm. There we go. Inside you go. Are you comfortable? Alright. Let us take you home. And, well, I'll get you in bed too, if you really wish. Here we are. Alright. Uh, can you stand? Oh, still a little wobbly. All right, in that case, uh, lean on me. I'll lead you into the home. There we go. Oh, uh, this may sound a little awkward, but you need to invite me. Otherwise, I cannot come in. Th thank you. Now, let us return you to your bed. Hmm. Are you comfortable? 
That is good. All right. I will see you next visit. And thank you for coming into the hospital today and having your evaluation done. I'll see you in a month. Have a wonderful day.